Today, we'll go on a little journey through time, into the past, and ask ourselves, how do you best preserve the film look of Super 8, regular 8mm, or 16mm during digitization? Is it possible to take full advantage of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K to digitize the material even better? Is there any benefit in working with flat look, with raw mode, and with this huge resolution? Can we also digitize Super 8 negative material and edit it later? How do you get an absolutely flicker-free image, and how do you get a look like we projected it onto a canvas screen with an old film projector? Let's start at the beginning. When we shoot in RAW, the picture looks gray and boring at first glance, but later we have the possibility to get out everything we want. For this, the free color grading software DaVinci Resolve is suitable. The raw flat look becomes really interesting when the film material has a color cast over the years. Another special feature of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is the resolution of 6K. If this is SD, Full HD, and UHD or 4K, then the whole area is 6K. Now, you might ask yourself, why should I use this high resolution when digitizing an original film frame of about 8 by 6 millimeters? But with good optics, you can bring out much more detail. You'll see these details later on future systems, which will have higher and higher resolutions. The differences become visible in the magnification. For example, individual frames scanned in 6K can even be printed in a size up to DIN A3 in 300 dpi. But first, let's mount the whole kit. In addition to a modified projector, the film digital system includes a special optical system, a corresponding adapter for it, LED lighting, and control for the lighting. We won't be explaining how the assembly works today because we've already shown this in detail in some older videos. There are also free webinars which can be booked on our website www.film-digital.com. We've equipped this film transfer kit with the new Film Digital Lighting 4001 which enables you to both adjust the brightness continuously and also change the color temperature very gently from cold to warm or vice versa. The image can be easily aligned vertically or horizontally with the help of the soft rings on the lens. Once the projector is started, the image is already being recorded. While direct scanning, the film is always upside down and mirrored horizontally. This can easily be corrected with editing software such as DaVinci Resolve under the menu item Fusion. But wait, why doesn't the movie flicker? Super 8 transfer systems from Film Digital always run at 16 and 2 thirds frames per second during scanning. The rotating shutter in the projector has three blades that divide the film into individual frames while it passes through the projector. Multiplied by these three blades, the 16.66 FPS then results in 50 Hz, the frequency of PAL. In order to exclude any residual flicker, Film Digital recommends the installation of a two-blade shutter when using cameras with very large sensors such as full format or Super 35 and simultaneously high digitizing resolution of 4K or 6K. Here too, you get 50 Hz again. The speed is adjusted in post-production, and as a side effect, you'll complete your job much faster because you digitize at one and a half times speed. To fine-tune the speed in case of slight fluctuations, the complete film digital systems are generally equipped with a fine speed control. Beside the cables for the lighting and the speed control that have been installed in the projector, the extension of the film gate is another important modification. In normal projection, a significant part of the image, up to 15%, is covered, but this part has been made visible again in the Super 8 projectors converted by Film Digital. The Super 8 film is now finished. And at first glance, the clip looks rather gray and without contrast. But in DaVinci Resolve, all possibilities for professional color grading are available. The raw development tool is similar to what you know, for example, from Lightroom. Furthermore, there are color wheels, color bars, gradation curves, and many other tools available.
With the scopes, the color distribution is visualized. We graded the material so that it appears as close as possible to the color impression on the not discolored Kodak film. Projected films, of course, look completely different, much more yellowish and with less contrast. That's why Film Digital provides a free LUT that gives your videos a projection look if you really want them to look like they're projected onto a canvas screen. The LUT can be easily loaded into DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve also provides some LUTs, including two or three that convert negative material into positive material. If we try these and use one of them to invert the color channels, we'll get there faster. Usually, however, you'll need to continue processing the material after reversing it. Besides the resolution of 6K, we recommend the following camera settings. Frame rate, 25 frames per second. Shutter speed, 180 degrees or a 50th of a second. This is the same at 25 FPS. For ISO, 800 is enough with film digital lighting. Depending on the exposure of the film, it's sometimes possible to work at 400 ISO. As white balance, you can first choose 4000K, and this can be modified later in DaVinci Resolve. Anyway, the results with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K convinced us even if it might seem a bit overdone to digitize old small format films in 6K, the future will surely bring higher and higher resolutions.